Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new video and today's video I'm very happy because I'll be sharing with you something very special for me that is spear fishing. I used to do this for a living in the past. I used to go spear fishing and selling the fish for a very very small amount of money and until I, I decided just to be a fly fisherman and enjoy fishing. I used to build guns, wooden guns like this one for these uh, people, professional people like that. These guns. So let's go on the water. I'm gonna be just spear fishing for a couple of fish, maybe cook it, make a special uh, meal from this area. The side of this, I'll be sharing with you the world that is underwater like trying to to film the permits and their avids bonefish when they're feeding always pinning around me let's see what i'm gonna find in the water so i'm very excited the day is beautiful i can't wait to go on the water so let's walk to the to the beach and get into the water enjoy the video Just in time, I just came back from the ocean. That's my buoy. My fish is right there. I'm waiting for this storm to just pass. And then I'll be cleaning the fish and I will make a meal from this region. So I'm just waiting. I'm gonna have some coffee for the moment. I love the rain. It was beautiful, crystal clear. I got to test my gun. Oof, it's been a long time not using it, but you just need some adjustments on the bands, rubber bands. And this is what I caught today. This 
two snappers and and the fish he was chasing that's the bar jack it's right there and now we're gonna make some ceviche ceviche is a very typical uh, meal here that you eat with some chips like made out of corn and it's a mix of tomatoes onions and we're gonna cook that f uh, fish feel like cut it in little pieces only with lime and salt pepper maybe some chili and some other things so we have to fillet this thing first and yeah let's do it so here's the fish the knife is not the sharpest one but I'll do my best well we're, we're cutting just a little bit like that the fillet I won't take it off yet I'm gonna go on the other side take the fillet the fillets out just like so I'm glad I didn't get that storm in the water well I made a home just before the rain so it's good so I'm just gonna get this fillets out like that cut the, the ribs off Here I have some fillet, fish fillet. Now I have two fillets, very nice fillets. So let's, let's keep going on this. So guys, I have all the ingredients I need, that is lime, tomatoes, onions, and coriander, salt with ashes and pepper, and this pineapple is optional. I like to add some sweet sour things and you know makes it more interesting so now I already cut into little pieces the fillet so it looks like that just to make it shorter a little bit video well so let's get started well I'm gonna start just cutting the tomatoes into little pieces same as the fish I just need to slice everything in the, in the bowl <laughs> let's add some pineapple I'm just gonna trim a little slice of it just like so The traditional way is only lime, tomatoes, onions, and this coriander, and that's it. So for now, we're gonna just save that for later. We're gonna skip the limes. And now what we're gonna do is add in the lime, the juice lime. So we start adding the lime into the bowl just to start cooking the, the meat. So we're gonna leave that for about 20 minutes. So, and then we're just gonna mix everything. And we're gonna add some salt, pepper. And this, that's the most important thing, is the coriander. This is the thing that's gonna add the flavor to this uh, meal. Well, so I'm just gonna wait. Here there's some salt mixed with ashes that adds a, a nice flavor to any meat. So for fish, I think it's a good, a good choice. It's gonna add some nice flavor. We're gonna add some salt. Pepper. In Spanish, this is cilantro. So we're gonna add the leaves of the cilantro. Mm. 
Now I'm just gonna mix everything a little bit. This starts smelling good. I just need that lime to cook my fish. I'm just gonna add a little more of lime. Another way you could do that instead of pineapple, you can use mango. Ah, the fruit, I love it. it. It gives a nice flavor to it. I just love this thing. You know what? Peace. Like the octopus we saw before in the water, the octopus would have been nice to have it in this, in this meal. But you know what? The octopus now, it's in a season that is protected, so we have to respect that. Well, so maybe next time, maybe next time. But fish is really good as well. Here in Mexico, when you come to the beach, when you go to a restaurant, like most of the people is gonna ask for ceviche for eating. Because it's very like tropical and it's like seafood. Sometimes it's, it's mixed with octopus, uh, shrimps, uh, squid could be and some other things inside um, well this is one way made out of fish fillet and it's very good you have to taste you have to make it in your house very simple steps you only need to catch the fish now what I'm gonna add is some butter it's just a little piece of butter like melted now so I'm just gonna pour that thing and mixed This is gonna add a nice flavor, a little softer flavor. Well, so I can see now the meat is getting cooked a little bit. So that is good. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put some of that in the center, like so. like that and these are the corn chips we usually eat with so I'm just gonna put a bunch of them right here some other thing you could add to this plate is avocado slices that is the perfect mix avocados with peachy cold beer you know and basically that's it this is the meal, it's ready to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you like the recipe and I hope you enjoy the video, the underwater. I'll be making some more videos like that. If you have some suggestions of any video, let me know down below in the comments and I'll be working on. Just let me know. And if you're new on the channel, please subscribe because I'll bring in some more cool stuff like that and probably you're gonna like that. Enjoy! That is very delicious, sorry guys. I gotta go get some cold beer.